December 5, 2002, Dilawar, a young Afghan taxi driver, was brought to Bagram. Five days after his arrival, he was dead. A U.S. major ticked the box for homicide. I said, my God, they've killed him. It became plausible to me that this man wasn't even guilty of anything, and he was murdered in detention. Put people in a crazy situation, and people do crazy things. People were being told to rough up Iraqis that wouldn't cooperate. We were also told they're nothing but dogs. Interrogators were telling the guards, strip this guy naked, chain him up to the bed in an uncomfortable position, do whatever you can. You had these young soldiers with very little training, just as the rules were changing, and they weren't told what the new rules were. You start looking at these people as less than human, and you start doing things to them you would never dream of. And that's where it got scary. It was only the night shift. There's always a few bad apples. The brass knew. They saw him shackled and hooded, and they said, right on, y'all are doing a great job. There were emails from FBI personnel down at Guantanamo saying, you won't believe what's going on down here. We've got to disassociate ourselves. You have no right to a lawyer. You have no right to witnesses. You don't really know what the charges are, and you certainly don't know what the secret evidence is against you. They saw an intentional decision taken at the height of the Pentagon to put out a fog of ambiguity. We have to work the dark side, if you will. We want to spend time in the shadows. What starts at the top of the chain of command drops like a rock down the chain of command. American values are premised upon the notion of human dignity. We don't know what revenge is coming down the road. There will be no outrages upon human dignity. It's, it's, it's like, it's very vague.